John Wayne, the Duke, died almost a third of a century ago, but his popularity lives on. This week, his fans will have a chance to own a piece of the legend. Here's John Blackstone. The home movies of John Wayne are part of a huge family archive. Wayne's youngest son, Ethan, the little boy in these pictures, says his father's possessions were piled in a warehouse for years before the boxes were even opened. There's plastic cups, there's some kitchen supplies. Well, let's put that box in the trash pile. Oh, wait, there's something heavy in it. Oh, it's an Academy Award. Some of what the family found will be auctioned this week in Los Angeles. Scripts, letters, mementos from Wayne's private life, along with the clothes he wore in some of his iconic roles. A uh, true grit. That's the eye patch even. Yep, we got an eye patch. Well, come to see a fat old man sometime. Yeah! Wayne won his Oscar for True Grit in 1970. He made almost 200 movies, his last one in 1976. John Wayne was not only the most important film star, of the 20th century in America. He was actually one of the most important Americans of the 20th century. Oh, I love John Wayne. Yeah. Love it. At an auction preview in Dallas, interest is high, even though Wayne died 32 years ago. I've got my own that saddle. And <laughs> the continued affection of fans, Ethan Wayne says, is a big reason for the auction. I just thought it was a natural to let some of this uh, go out and live with people who will really appreciate it. In a poll this year, Wayne was named this country's third most popular movie star, just after Johnny Depp and Denzel Washington. He remains the model American hero. I think that's why he's still so popular, is because we need people like John Wayne in this, this country, especially now. And we do still have John Wayne, if only on film. John Blackstone, CBS News, Newport Beach, California.